Today we're going to tell you things you need to know about your computer. First of all, the main component of your computer is the motherboard, which you can see here is this entire casing. Motherboards is a very important part of your computer because it uh, determines the expandability of your computer and contains all the hardware slots for attaching hardware, as well as, um, as you see here, cable slots to attach um, other hardware that you would find over here and here. Uh, the second thing you should have, know about when purchasing is actually over here. This is a video card. Most motherboards actually have video cards on them, but if you plan to play games or uh, uh, create an your own uh, videos or movies, uh, you will probably need an external video card, which is like this one on hand in my hand, which is from ATI. The important thing to know, the important thing to know about uh, video cards is uh, basically they have a RAM, uh, memory rating. This one is 300 and 32 megabytes even. This is actually rather small. That probably wouldn't do you much. Most nowadays have upwards of a one gigabyte of memory on them, and that's uh, what you should primarily know. Second component that is, is really important is RAM. It's used by most programs while they are active. Uh, it's called a random access memory. It's also rated in megabytes. These two sticks here are 256 megabytes, which is one of the things you should know about. They go over here in your computer, and I say your motherboard controls the amount you can put in. This computer will accept up to four. Next important part of a computer is your hard drive. It contains all the storage and files for all your programs on your computer, as well as things like games, multimedia, such as videos and music. Uh, it is also uh, has a memory rating, uh, most often in gigabytes. This one is an 80 gigabyte drive, which is actually rather small. Most drives nowadays have upwards to terabytes, which would be thousands of gigabytes. Next is a power supply unit. I didn't take it out of this one because I needed a, uh, a, a screwdriver, but it's rated normally by wattage. Uh, it's the most important basic thing you need to know. It needs to have enough wattage so that it can power all of the other components in the computer. Uh, an average computer will probably need about 400 watts. Um, next, you're probably already familiar with it, is a CD drive or a disk drive. There are also uh, disk drives with smaller copy uh, drives. Um, important thing to know about CD drives that you should ask is the read and write speeds and also whether or not it can uh, has burning capabilities and also whether it does uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, or just CDs. Next is central processing unit. Again, I didn't take this one out of the computer, but you can kind of see part of it. It has some uh, gray thermal paste on it. But it's the brains of your computer. It controls uh, basically everything on your computer. It processes it, and uh, it's rated in uh, gigahertz. Um, most computers nowadays will have between a 2 and 3 gigahertz processor and some actually now come by 2, 4, or 8 processors on a single uh, CPU unit. Uh, next we have a heatsink which is normally housed on top of the CPU. Its job is to pull heat off the CPU and keep it cool. Um, other components will also have heat sinks and uh, as before they basically pull heat off your computer parts so that they don't burn up. They're very important and uh, they normally come with your computer. You don't have to buy it separately. Next is case fans. Case fans all, uh, help your heat sinks. Um, a job of uh, keeping the computer cool. Most cases normally have one in the front that brings cool air in and one in the back that brings hot air out. Also powerful computer parts like uh, video cards, the power supply, and some really powerful CPUs will have their own uh, fans to additionally. The last, the last part that you should know about, um, which should come with a motherboard, but you may need to buy extras, are serial bus cables. They help connect things like your hard drive to your motherboard and then serial ATA cables, which are the newer version of, of uh, the ribbons, which are much smaller and you see uh, uh, easier to handle. 
Um, they are also faster. They're called uh, serial ATA cables or SATA cables.